Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to do this little flower charm, a great little gift for Mother's Day. And um, today I will be doing these colors, so your pink, a light pink, and uh, these are silicone, darker pink. And uh, you can choose your colors, you could do a single color for the petals, inside another color, or all one color, you decide. So I'm going to use one loom, and my loom is going to be in its original position with the arrows facing down. I am going to show you how to make one petal, and then you'll have to pause the video and make five more petals. So I'm going to get started. So for the outside part, I'm going to do one color, and it will be my pink. I'm going to use a single band, and I'm just going to go on the top from here to here on my left side and using a single on the right. Using a single we're going to go to start to close it in so from my left down to the middle and on the other side. Now I'm going to change the color in the middle so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use double bands this one looks different color and I'm going to use double bands and I'm going to go in the middle right here and double bands from here to here. Now I'm going to use this color to cap it right here at the bottom so it look like this. You can use the inside color if you like, I just prefer the outside color. So a single band wrapped three times, one, two, and three. And now that's it. So we're going to start to loop. So reach in, grabbing these two bands, the double bands that are on top. And I'm just going to reach in and loop the middle to complete it. Now going back into here, we're going to grab this band, because that's the band on top, and bring it to the right. Reach back in. And now you just have to loop these two up. So this one, reaching in, and there you go. Now after I take these off the pegs, I'm going to have to slide them on double bands. So this color will be the middle, the center of the flower. So reach in, reach in, and reach in and then just make sure that they're all flat. Grabbing my double bands, going to support with my finger, and just slide these on. And grabbing the other end. And then you can put here, if you'd like, along your peg, And now you can pause the video to make five more. Okay, so now we're going to take one off. And we're going to go at the top of the peg down to the second peg on your left. So just slide on. And you can grab this end and just bring it to there. Grabbing another one, you're going to take these bands and slide them on to your second peg on your left and now go to your third peg going down on your left. Reach in and we are going to go from this peg down to here. So your fifth peg going down in the middle. So put on, grab it with your hook, and put on. Reach in, 
and I'm just going to turn my loom around and we are going to go from here to here just the opposite side. So your second peg down on your right and I'm going to stretch it to the top middle. I'm going to reach in and grab another one and now from here to here and now I'm going to reach in grabbing the last one and we're going to go from here to here just like that and now I'm going to fill in the middle with these bands I am going to be using three bands just to make it look a little bit raised here in the middle if you use two bands it'll just be a little bit like double bands it'll just be a little bit less down or even this one is so I'm going to use three bands so you can use two or three and I'm just going to start at the top and we're going to go down all the way to the end so three bands give it a push down oops and three bands And I'm going to push this down and putting three more bands. And give it a push down. Now I'm going to take a single band and I'm going to cap here three times. One, two, and three. Taking a single band, I need to put a holding band from here to here in a triangle taking a single band and making one more triangle and now it's done so we're ready to loop so we're going to reach in and grab our first top three bands which are these ones so reach in move those cap bands out of the way I'm going to hold the cap band down I only grabbed two so I'm just going to get the other one And now, oops, just going to from here to here. And I'm just going to stop here for a second because I actually want to grab these two bands that are here. So the next two bands are going from there to there. And I'm going to reach in, grabbing the next two bands. And I'm not going to pull up, I'm just going to pull forward and now reach in and grabbing these two bands. So reach in and I'm going to pull forward so there's not so much tension. Reaching in and grabbing those double bands and bringing it to the top. I'm going to go on the right side and grabbing those two bands and go forward and then grabbing the next two I grabbed a petal careful you don't do that and go forward reach in in the middle and now we're just going to go to the top and now we're done so you can choose the color of the holding band that you want. I'm actually going to use pink just because you don't really see it and uh, the silicone bands they kind of they don't really hold. So I'm just going to reach in and now I'm going to do a slip knot and I'm just going to slide it over and get a little tug and now it's ready to come off. So I'm going to use my hook
and this is what it looks like. So we're just going to give a little fix. So what you want to do is just these little cap bands that we put on, the three ring right at the ends, just give them a tug on each one. And just keep going right around in a circle. Make them a little bit pointy. Keep the bands flat. And then just move everything around. And now this middle piece, you can just hold it and then just pull it up. Or flat, whatever, but I'm just going to fix it a little bit. And there's your charm. You can hide this if you want, or you can leave it hanging. But if you want to hide it, just reach in anywhere. And then, like that, grabbing an end. And then just pull it through. I didn't get it. And that will support it too, and you can keep on pulling it through. But uh, that's the flower. Next, I'll show you how to do the one with the petal. And uh, I'll see you next time with this design. Have a good one. Bye-bye.